guys, what's going on and welcome to day 15 of 22 days of lipstick and for today's video I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Profusion Cosmetics Lips to Go kit. Now I have with me is two of the lip kits. One of them is called Charm, the other is called Temptation. Now for foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC. Now, before we can get into the description, the lip swatch, the formula, the pros and cons, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so not fail whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right in the video. Okay, so let's quickly talk about the key highlights of these lip kits. Now, it says that it includes a velvety lip liner and matte liquid lipstick. Unique formula provides a long-lasting non-drying color. It creates the perfect pouch on the go with this convenient kit. Now, for the quantity, the liquid lipstick has about 9.5 ml of product and the lip liner has about 0.3 grams of product. These are priced at 575 rupees and they offer about 5 different lip kits, out of which I have picked out 2 of them. So this is how the lip kit looks like. In the front you can see the lip liner as well as the liquid lipstick. On top you have is the shade name and at the back you have all the other information. So the lip liner and the liquid lipstick are color coordinated with a black cap. So the lip liner is a retractable type which I personally like. And for the liquid lipstick, you have the shade name at the bottom, like I said before, color coordinated, black cap, black writing, and it has this flat type of doe foot applicator. And now let's move on to the lip swatches. Alright, so let's talk about the formula of these lip kits and the first thing I want to talk about is the lip liners. Now these are well pigmented, at the same time it is like a very matte formula with a matte finish. Now one thing just to bear in mind like an FYI is that for outlining the lips it is absolutely fine but for filling it in just make sure that you shade it lightly and not go very heavy handed because it could break because of the matte kind of formula so it kind of like drags a little bit when you apply it but yet again it is pigmented so personally for me I don't find that to be a con but I'm just like letting you guys know on that and these are the retractable type of lip liners which I personally like because I'm a lazy ass person I don't like like sharpening carrying around like a sharpener and all that stuff so yeah these are retractable types and now moving on to the formula of the liquid lipsticks now these are well pigmented and just one layer or one dip I'm good to go with the full lips as well as these are quick drying so you have to work around a bit quicker now having said that these do have a slight tackiness when you press your lips like now when I'm talking to you it is completely fine it doesn't feel tacky or sticky or anything of that sort but then if I actually press my lips together it has a slight tackiness to it now these are almost transfer proof like for example so you have is a mark of only the lip liner but the liquid lipstick it is transfer proof. Now these are long lasting so for me it lasted like about 7 to 8 hours and then I had to eat and this is how it looks like after I had a pretty heavy meal. For the removal of these liquid lipsticks surprisingly they come off quite easily using a micellar water or a wet wipe and like you do not have to go for like an oil based remover and uh, lastly they do smell amazing so they have this nice vanilla cake kind of a smell which will make you hungry i'm hungry right now but the lip liner and the liquid lipstick they both smell amazing unfortunately they do not last long or fortunately for some people
people maybe who are sensitive but uh, yeah they do have a smell it doesn't last that long though now just a quick FYI which I want to mention is that these could be a bit drying like personally for me these are not drying at all but for some people it could be drying so I would suggest use a lip balm underneath and then use these lipsticks but that could affect the longevity of these liquid lipsticks and now coming to the cons there are only two points the first one is the price difference because originally these are priced only at four dollars in us which is close to uh 280 or 90 rupees wherein over here these are priced at 575 rupees now do not get me wrong 575 rupees is a damn good price for a lip liner and a liquid lipstick as well but for me the con is just the price difference so yeah that's the first point the second and the last con for me is the shades because there are only five of them out of which most of them are kind of like a very nude kind of a shade uh, only the shade temptation which i have is a very bright pink color the rest all are like nude shades so yeah it would be nice if they had or offered more colors in these lip kits so overall i do recommend these lip kits because even with the price difference 575 rupees for like a lip liner and a liquid lipstick which has 9.5 ml of product which is damn good in my opinion because the other liquid lipsticks that i own i think if i'm not wrong they are only like 6 ml of product quantity and uh, yeah 9.5 is quite a lot so i feel these are worth the money so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the profusion cosmetics lips to go kit and this wraps today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you're notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which is instagram on instagram and instagram on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye